good evening friends uh, we are happy to uh, take you further in this uh, session of the online program for enhancing the msme exports today we have a very interesting session on how do msme uh, protect the innovations that they are trying to work at now in one of the sessions that we had done earlier in this series was that it is very important for startups to come out with new product categories if they have to compete with the existing players in the indian companies existing players as a chinese companies and also the participants who are exposed to the concept of having to display newer product categories in the newer trade fairs that they are trying to work with new buyers to attract new buyers so the whole idea came from the point that if i am creating a new industrial design for my furniture or if i am creating a new design for my gems and jewelry how do you technically protect them from uh, getting copied by a chinese company getting copied by other indian companies if i have really invested so this session technically friends takes you further in this journey that it is while it is important for us to actually work to create new products for having a niche against your competing players it is equally important for us to also give them a protection of a copyright protection of a brand name of yours at the same time you should not make a mistake of looking forward for um, creating a brand name that doesn't uh, work from an ipr perspective so friends it is my pleasure to introduce uh, dr raghavender today for the session on ipr concerns of msmes and he is a joint secretary from department of justice ministry of law and justice government of india and he is also in charge of he had also held an additional charge of director general national productivity council as a part of his career he is very very passionate about the intellectual property rights especially he has worked a lot of corporate assignments and held as consultant to a lot of hand holding msmes towards the copyright and related rights he has worked as a registrar of copyrights for about 6 and a half years so he is a thorough uh a faculty and a speaker to give you a real life experience of how these copyright trademarks brand names should be worked out because he's also been a part of a lot of trade agreements so a lot of trade agreements also talk about the the protection rights of the of the company so i think this is such an interesting session that we have from dr raghavender and i am sure you should uh, be asking practical relevant questions and you should take this opportunity to understand the ipr laws of india and its relevance for the msmes today thank you dr raghavendra to join us today over to thank you, you sir. thank yeah good evening everyone hello you can continue sir yeah uh, good evening everyone uh, welcome to this uh, presentation on protecting msmes uh, innovations through intellectual property rights protection so uh, you're all uh, into various businesses i understand that it's very very important for you to know the importance of ipr protection not only the ipr protection respecting the ipr number one uh, why i said ipr protection because you may be innovating uh, and inventing new technologies Uh, in your startups in your msme uh, businesses and then there is need to protect your uh, innovations and inventions through uh, 
intellectual property protection, especially patents. And then you have to protect your brand name, and that is very, very important. That is through uh, the uh, 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 trademark protection and any uh, uh, literary artistic work or music uh, or uh, f f video uh, uh, film industry uh, you were associated with uh, um, and then you have to protect your uh, works creative works through uh, copyright protection so uh, and uh, the second one is uh, important thing is you may be uh, MSME, but you may not be creating any uh, innovating and coming out with a new product, but you are a franchisee, uh, you, you are an aggregator, or you are a, uh, you know, uh, facilitating uh, the distribution of these uh, 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 products created by someone else, or using somebody else's uh, uh, spare parts, etc in your products and so you should be very very careful to respect the uh, the intellectual property rights of other uh, companies and other uh, right owners so otherwise uh, that will uh, create a problem I think there's some problem in uh, continuing the slides, so I'm just trying to grapple with this. Uh, forgive me for this problem. Uh, instead of using your mouse, yeah. you just press F5 and use cursors. Down arrow, up arrow to move forward and uh, move backward. F5. F5, press F5, it will be the full screen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's not getting into full screen, that is the problem. No, you just uh, don't use mouse. Please use that uh, keyboard and press yeah. F5. I think there is some problem in this. I'm not able to uh, navigate it. Oh, I, I'll just continue till it gets uh, itself uh, settled. So uh, MSMEs have to uh, understand one thing uh, that, that for the businesses, they have to well, take uh, IP audit and IP valuation. So uh, you have to have an account details of what kind of intellectual property rights uh, uh, you are having and uh, what are the licenses uh, um, you are uh, obtaining. So two groups you have to create and then that is very, very important for the thriving of your businesses. 
you know, many corporate giants have improved their uh, functioning, improved their profits, improved their revenues, improved their stock exchange po po um, profits as well after taking IP audits and IP valuations. So IP management is so, such an important aspect uh, that, uh, you know, in, in innovation with the procedures and processes, uh, it happened while working, um, uh, in running your, uh, you know, MSME business. So you should know, so what are the IPR you have, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 created? What are the IPRs you are using in your business? So what is their value and uh, and any risk involved in this? If you are not taken any, any uh, uh, you know, license from others when you are using others goods and uh, what extent you have failed to promote your goods, which is very, very important because licensing your own products to others is very, very important uh, to get, get the more uh, uh, standing in the business and then the first thing, who owns the IPR? So whether uh, intellectual property rights include patents, trademarks, designs, semiconductor layout, uh, uh, designs, and then uh, geographical indications, and then trade secrets. These are all industrial property rights with the one school of in, uh, intellectual property rights. And then second is copyrights and related rights. And then copyright include uh, literary artistic work, musical work, and cinematograph films, sound recordings, softwares. And then now new technologies are coming uh, and, then, um, uh, and then creating a more interesting uh, study in the intellectual property rights. As we're all aware that artificial intelligence is highly used uh, in not only the creating the product um, uh, in the uh, 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 innovation side, invention side, and also creativity is also being improved by using the artificial intelligence product. So IP valuation of identifiable intangible assets means identifiable intellectual property rights each MSME has that is very important because uh, <clears throat> uh, they may be market based, cost based, income based, and uh, you know, uh, it, this is very, very important to evaluate your intellectual property rights and uh, get more standing in the business. Next one is apart from valuation, uh, portfolio management is very, very important. Know about what you have and what you need and what and uh, what exactly you are doing with your uh, intellectual property right uh, products. That is very important. And then comes the importance of IP management. So once you have identified, valued your assets and you have taken IP audit, um, the your essential ownership of your patents, trademarks, designs, etc. Then important thing in the IP management is concentrating how do you market that? And then for marketing purposes, from where you'll get financial resources. And you're planning exporting to your, your other countries, your intellectual property products. So how, wh wh so what is your strategy for that? And then licensing and cross licensing issues technology transfer so either you uh, and and if you are in uh, uh, you know uh, transferring the technology what should be the terms and conditions uh, which is going to help you uh, in, in this business so these are all things are very very important uh, and uh, And, and, and then if you have any uh, uh, involvement in research and development of new products, new high-end products, that you should have a proper uh, uh, planning for that. And uh, 
then you should have uh, uh, you know collaborative r and d uh, programs and strategies uh, with other msmes or um, foreign companies and then if you are acquiring any intellectual properties through transfer uh, to you or if you are transferring your intellectual properties to other companies that also you should have a, a proper management strategy and the investment that is very very important investment protection uh, uh, so in 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 case of any uh, a, a competitor trying to uh, you know misuse your products ip products you know create a counterfeit products in the market uh, and you need to have a strategy for protection and enforcement of rights a special team as cell is very very important to uh, take care of uh, this i, I, I think uh, my um, uh, presentation is being shown from your side yeah please yes, go to yeah. the next slide yeah. okay. we are trying it from here sir we had this presentation please carry on i'm yeah. taking care of your slides yeah yeah can you can you go to the next slide please yeah so national ipr policy which was introduced in 2016 basically to bring uh, the awareness among the uh, companies entrepreneurs especially msmes to know about their value and their know about their intangible assets so with the motive of uh, creative india and innovative india and uh, national ipr policy basically try to uh, promote uh, awareness among the msmes under this as a cell has been uh, constituted called center for intellectual property rights management cell uh, this cell is closely working with the ministry of uh, msme and also development commissioner office of msme uh, you know to create a awareness uh, among the msmes all over india uh, they, they are holding um, you know various kind of uh, uh, workshops uh, on uh, patent filing design filing trademark filing and then it's a you know practical aspects of intellectual property rights so how, the how to protect your um, uh, you know intangible assets intellectual property rights that's what being um, done at large scale and then a special policy has been uh, released by government of india for startups uh, we giving lot of incentives to the startups especially women entrepreneurs and marginalized sections of indian society for them you know uh, and a special uh, uh, status has been given to them uh, in in uh, uh, in examination of uh, the startup patents and recently they have introduced uh, a system called you know, faster examination of uh, patent applications and uh, for that uh, special fee is provided uh, and uh, uh, incentives are also been provided and then in, uh, how to file their applications uh, and a panel of experts have been provided in case of any infringement or protection issues are concerned and another panel of experts have been provided on, on the uh, site of uh, ipo india so balancing the structure of legal framework that's what the national ipr policy talks about so the existing legislations how to be in line with in compliance with the international treaties and uh, Um, conventions which is which india is already a member and then uh, administration and management of rights how each and every msme or any entrepreneur or right owner administer its rights and manage its intellectual property rights and then important thing is not only the creation of intellectual property right products what should be the steps taken for the commercialization of these iprs that is the another aspect which the national ipr policy covers the of course when in case of counterfeiting piracy and infringement of intellectual property rights 
enforcement and adjudication uh, is the policy. And, and <clears throat> in this manner, uh, you know, many enforcing authorities are also being trained, the police authorities, prosecution authorities, and uh, judges, especially judicial officers, are also being uh, regularly trained um, uh, in uh, various workshops and seminars and conferences held uh, by the D Department of uh, Department for Promotion of Industry and Internal Trade (DPIIT), which is a nodal department for intellectual properties, Government of India. So, human capital development, another important. So, uh, training people and uh, not only making awareness of the uh, important uh, aspects of intellectual property rights. So, training people uh, and you know capacity building uh, uh, in the MSME. Uh, uh, to understand the, uh, 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 in, in, you know, the values of intellectual property rights and implementation of uh, uh, various aspects of intellectual, intellectual property rights management, administration, enforcement and adjudication issues are being taught. Yeah. Next, please. Next slide. Yes, yeah, so I already told you intellectual property rights. There are two kinds. Uh, one is patent. Um, the second is uh, trademarks, industrial de designs and uh, uh, geographical indications, uh, integrated circuits, trade secrets and second kind of uh, intellectual property rights, copyrights and related rights which include I already told you the literary works, musical works, dramatic works, uh, artistic works, sound recordings, cinematograph films, etc., uh, including software. Yeah, next slide, please. So uh, the um, uh, entire international IP system um, is governed by the World Trade Organization's um, uh, treaty which came into effect from 1st January 95, uh, which recognizes the globalization of trade, economy and technologies and uh, to reduce the distortions and imped impediments in international trade and promoting effective and adequate protection of uh, uh, you know, intellectual property rights. So each country have to provide effective mechanism for uh, in, um, enforcement, managing, and uh, protection and management and enforcement of uh, intellectual property rights as per the established minimum standards uh, in the trade related aspects of intellectual property agreement strips. So Indian laws, whether you take patent, trademark, design, copyright or geographical integrations are totally in compliance with the TRIPS agreement provisions. Yeah, next please. Yeah, patents. Next. Yeah. So what exactly is the patent? So patent is an invention of a creative mind. It invention can be a product or a process. And uh, uh, you know, when an inventor uh, invents this, so he is given an incentive uh, with uh, recognition of granting a patent to this his, his invention. So once a grant of instrument of patent, uh, which is some privileged property or authority made by the government uh, as a sovereign. So patent uh, is an invention already to told you. Uh, so when patents are granted, the right owner gets exclusive rights over that to a certain period. So the period mentioned in Indian law and including the TRIPS agreement is the 20 years exclusive rights um, the uh, patent owner or the creator gets. So it's a right granted uh, to this patent uh, inventor who invents or discovers any new or useful process or machine or article of manufacture or a and a composition of a matter or any new or useful improvement of innovation taking place around technologic, uh, one te te technological product to other technological products. 
so uh, in, in new innovation new uh, uh, the products keep coming and then they need to be protected under the patent act these products so patent act latest i mean it was introduced in 1990 and after harmonizing with the trips agreement in 99 and 2002 the final uh, amendment was done in the year of 2005 next please yeah so patent shall be available means uh, any inventions uh, uh, which should be no ha having the novelty so there are three three test for formalize there for granting a patent if msme uh, is a creating any new technology and new product or new process so patents are granted for process and product provided it has novelty in these inventions in the field of that particular technology and then next is inventive step so it should be a non obvious test it has to pass so what is this non obvious test so invention that involves technical advance compared to the existing knowledge or having economic significance so uh, it is not obvious to the person already in the skilled in the art so if you are inventing one technology called product so the expert in the technology that is not a obvious thing for even for him it's a non obvious then only a pre patent is granted and that should not be already in the public domain that's what the novelty concept prior art it is called it should not be in the public domain and uh, there should be an inventive step that it's it should pass a non obvious test and third is there should be an in depth industrial application or commercial uh, is a commercial application for this product or a process then only a patent is granted next step please to a product or a uh, process uh, so but uh, what are not patentable this is very very important so pa patents are not granted every technology every innovation every invention so uh, you know uh, in a natural law cannot be um, you know patents cannot be granted to natural law or morality or public order and uh, plants and animal life already which are existing which are already been created uh, and uh, uh, health environment these things cannot be granted patent so just mere discovery of a scientific principle uh, you know or a theory or a living or a non living thing up in nature so if you just gone to go to a jungle and find that i have found a new species of a plant or a uh, animal and then you can't go to patent office and start get patenting so any new uh, agricultural uh, even the any existing agricultural horticultural practice or medical or surgical processes something new you you try to find out that also cannot be uh, patented so plants animals micro organisms cannot be patented however a recent decision says that micro organisms can be patented provided they have been created uh, originally in the uh, uh, r&d lab which we you know previously they are not existing then only patents are granted to those micro organisms so mathematical formulas principles can't get patent any business method uh, cannot get patent and computer program per se uh, the software which uh, technically uh, cannot be patentable unless and until uh, a software is a part of a hardware and which is uh, performing a technical function for a uh, working of uh, that mechanical device then patent can be granted to that software or a computer program similarly algorithms now all um, uh, artificial intelligence products are come now you, uh, you know it, it it's based on various algorithms it works like machine learning or deep learning so all these algorithms are not patentable but similar to the software if if these algorithms are uh, performing any technical function technical uh, 
uh, improvement of uh, functioning of a uh, already uh, invented device so it can get patented so ai patent granted you know it's uh, but it all depends on how these patents in inventions are uh, you know uh, claimed and how these specifications are written uh, it all depends how it uh, it is written uh, otherwise uh, if you are showing that uh, important aspect of that product or a process only the computer program or a software or algorithm it's very difficult to get protection for that so uh, literary dramatic and musical art artistic works, cinematograph films, and broadcast works are copyrights and related rights. They have a separate uh, way of getting protected. So as a intellectual property right products, so these are not uh, patentable. And mere scheme or a rule or method of performing a mental act or a game or a presentation uh, and uh, 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 pre any presentation of information is also not uh, patentable. An integrated uh, circuit design layout, again, it has a special uh, legislation, special act. It, it will be protected under that act only, not as a patent under the patent act. Patent cannot be granted to such kind of microchips. Next, please. So uh, there is a product patent and a process patent already informed you. So products are patentable, provide they have novelty, inventive step, and industrial application. Similarly, process patents uh, like foods and drugs. Uh, um, earlier, uh, WTO members were opposing, but these are also, uh, uh, you know, uh, process patents. Then uh, uh, other patents are important. Are biological patents, and uh, here biotechnology basic, basically here. Uh, how you are de devising the inventing uh, this uh, disclosure is a must and there are chemical patents and as I already told you business method patents is one category which is approved in the US um, software patents are approved in the US in India we don't allow this unless and until these are part and part parcel of a device and they play because uh, these are all not um, uh, the inventions, but these are all abstract ideas. Uh, uh, so abstract ideas cannot be patented. So that is the reason why we don't consider them as inventions, but protection can be given to softwares uh, under as a literary work under the Copyright Act. Next, please. So what are the objectives of patents? When patent is granted, so the patentee, that is the inventor, gets an exclusive right to gain the commercial advantage or commercial exploitation of that invention, a product or a patent for the particular period of 20 years. So uh, it encourages scientific research, new uh, introduction of new technology and industrial process. So giving uh, that uh, exclusive rights to the creator and inventor. Uh, it also encourages inventors to invest their creative faculties, knowing that their inventions would be protected by the patent law. That is very, very important. So preventing copying for the limited period uh, 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 for um, invention. So uh, uh, exploit the commercial uh, um, um, aspects is very very important so others are not allowed to commercially exploit and until they get a license um, either exclusive license or a non-exclusive li license from the patentee or the right owner next please so patents provide in incentives they recognize the creativity uh, they give, provide material reward they encourage innovation, they improve the quality of human rights. So uh, there is a high return on investment uh, by uh, protecting the patents and these inventions. So opportunity to sell or license the innovation and the, uh, you know, uh, the patentee, the inventor, or the right owner uh, is profiting. So 
uh, and uh, with that profits he invests more in research and development and there is a possibility of innovation of the existing uh, product or invention of a new product and uh, and uh, with that he will get increased negotiating power while marketing his products and uh, it, it gives a positive image to msme or an enterprise uh, by doing so protecting their patent identifying their products which they have created and uh, that is very very important so if what happens if you don't patent your products or processes simple somebody else will might patent it and competitors will grab the advantage of your invention uh, once it is in public domain they will be free really you know you, in, you invest in the r and d that is your brain that is your idea you come out with that uh, product or a process and if you don't protect it your competitor will copy that and then he will get advantage without any investment in the r and research and design of that process or product so that is the reason why it is very very important uh, to uh, patent your products or process next please so patentee can exploit his patent he can license his patent or he can transfer all his rights assign the patents patents to others or he can surrender the patent or uh, any infringement happened he can go to the court and sue the infringer uh, the person who is copying his uh, product or a process so there are exceptions and limitations there uh, however government as per the law government can use that patent for the public good now there is a covid pandemic so if, if a vaccine is invented covid covid vaccine government can take over that vaccine for the public good it can, that vaccine can be made available for cheaper rates to each and every individual without any discrimination of caste religion sex uh, and uh, so their societal position so government can also grant compulsory licenses in case uh, like, uh, voluntary license is not happening or patent is not successful in its uh, achieving its objectives and then revocation of non working patent if, if if a patent is not working it's not made available to the public at last so patent can be cancelled government uh, the patent office can revocate revocate the patent also and uh, limitations on re re restored patents so if uh, if, if a, a patents are restored uh, a government can you know impose any limitation so enforcement is also another important advantage the rights of patent you can file a suit you can claim damages uh, he, 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 he can uh, get the profits which has been lost uh, because of any piracy or counterfeiting next please trademarks so uh, next important aspect is a trademark so how you protect you know your msme name msme business it may be uh, a trading company it may be service company uh, uh, enterprise so uh, each and uh, uh, because trademark recognizes both uh, products product names and service names um, after india became the trips member in to, in to 1995 uh, next please so trademark is defined as a mark capable of being represented geographically and that is capable of distinguishing the goods and services so you can uh, a trademark is the one which distinguishes reebok shoes from bata shoes so colgate paste from foreign space and levis jeans from uh, you know uh, no and uh, and uh, uh, you know pantaloon jeans uh, like this mcdonalds from um, you know uh, uh, any other uh, uh, re 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 restaurant cafe coffee day let us say and like this uh, you know it distinguishes one good from others one service from other um, and and It it, it 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 gives a kind of reputation to that product and product service 
so that reputation is gained by the trademark holder through goodwill uh, the quality of the service is providing quality of the goods is providing you know uh, people go and buy such branded shoes such branded clothes or such branded electronic uh, equipment and goods etc because it has a goodwill in the market and it has a reputation in the market so that is established the moment you you you, you know that uh, that brand name, name uh, that product uh, that service uh, is uh, unmatchable uh, then automatically you, you go and start purchasing them so that is very very important that your trade name is not uh, misused trade name is not uh, you know uh, uh, the reputation is not brought down by uh, low end products which are counterfeit products which are manufactured and put in the sh shelf of the sh shop showing that it is your good only so msmes should know it's very very important that you know the, in order to product uh, their products and the services they should get their products and services and goods and services uh, and trademark registration that is very very important because trademark i already told you deals with the goodwill attached to the marketing like symbols trademarks trade names and even the trade get up trade dress the way uh, packaging has been done to the product uh, the way it has been presented marketed to the people to catch their eye and attract them so uh, uh, trademark may be even uh, a name uh, is maybe word or is a, is a logo uh, it may be a design it may be a numeral it may be a whole sentence it can be a picture sometimes it's a combination of words or a devices a label etc next please yeah so trademark is a visual representation uh, aspect is there so uh, it is a visual representation attached to goods uh, the moment apple iphone is there the apple logo is there apple written is there um, uh, so you know that uh, is iphone uh, is the apple product and uh, the uh, you know the uh, macbook laptop is a apple product so uh, that uh, goodwill that visual representation is there in that uh, and then uh, as, as uh, apart from the electronic goods there are uh, uh, you know daily use goods like uh, soaps especially if example lakme soap so the way it is uh, visual representation is there at a distance you just uh, you know recognize uh, from the shop that that is the lakme soap or that is pure soap or that is a rinse soap uh, and uh, you know that is very very important uh, but uh, people do uh, create counterfeit goods uh, and try to pass off as the original goods uh, you know in the market you must have seen many counterfeit products of the parachute oil fair and lovely with a small change in the spelling live boy soap etc uh, and even colgate toothpaste uh, more lookalikes start uh, coming in the market the moment one good or service establishes its uh, reputation and goodwill and capture the market and then uh, parasites start coming in uh, in the form of uh, counterfeit goods so one has to recognize this and uh, have to protect you, your goods legally that is very very important the first and foremost is uh, registration of trademark that is very very important and then uh, you know when your reputation uh, is damaged as a trader or a manufacturer so if spurious goods are put in the market sold in the market so uh, so you know, what do you, what you need to do uh, because consumer uh, 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 unknowingly because visual representation is that consumer unknowingly goes and then buys that product and then finally fi finally your goodwill and your reputation is getting tarnished because of lack of quality in that counterfeit cheap goods and you ought to find out uh, such things and uh, take protection 
of trademark that is very very important next please so service marks are also important uh, maybe hotels restaurant and uh, <clears throat> courier services uh, airlines tourist agencies and uh, and uh, you know well, even uh, the dry cleaning services also very very important nowadays uh, so getting their service marks registered uh, for the protection next please yeah uh, what is a well known trademark there is a concept of well known trademark uh, is no well known trademark sometimes it may not be a registered trademark but it is so well known in the market uh, that any infringement of good uh, is going to uh, be, uh, be uh, damage that can be protected by the law for instance you know examples of well known trademark are coca cola fruity bada of course these are all registered ones but even in case if, uh, if a well known trademark is um, uh, unregistered in india for example any foreign pr uh, product take for example mercedes car company is there so mercedes company uh, car is uh, illegally manufactured in india or mercedes name is misused for other products uh, and uh, that is hap that commonly happen so that well known trademark reputation is tarnished so even though it is not registered in india so that is protected as per the law next please so another concept is collective mark so what is collective trademark it, it distinguishes goods and services of members of association of a persons for example uh, not being partnership firm from those of others so proprietor of this mark is association uh, and goods and services of company of a group of companies like uh, godrej so godrej may be having a almara or a refrigerator or a you know any another important product so all these come under one mark called collective mark that is called godrej so uh, it, it it is possible that a company or a group of group of companies come under one umbrella and enjoy one uh, uh, trademark uh, for all the products uh, it's producing or it's manufacturing and marketing in the market yeah next please and a certification trademark so in that this various proprietors of the manufacturers of that product which has a mark so they go to a certificate uh, shin uh, office they get certified goods bearing that certification mark uh, you know has the the recognition as some quality for example uh, under this isi product uh, is there isi certification is there so various products and ayush certification is there various uh, and also uh, agmark certification is there various uh, foods and beverages and all that and uh, you know uh, and, and including uh, toilet uh, products so ayush and agmark two uh, uh, other two examples of certification mark so when you go to a shop when you see and satisfy that any product has that certification mark or isi ayush or agmark so he feel satisfied uh, you, you, you know you know the goodwill of reputation of the such certification so without any hesitation you purchase those goods so it is very very important for msmes and startups to use this certification marks for your goods and services to improve your market reputation and goodwill next sound mark is also possible for example microsoft uh, uh, company has a sound mark so the moment you open your um, uh, uh, you know the desktop or laptop uh, the it starts with a, um, a kind of sound musical sound so that is the sound mark even uh, film company metro goldwyn mayer um, has registered the land roar with which 
this logo come appears uh, that has been registered as a sound mark. Next, please. Yeah, so what is the difference between a trademark and property mark? So property mark, for example, you, you see um, earlier in, uh, in, in Indian Airlines and Air India, they used to have a steel cutlery. Uh, nowadays, steel cutlery has been dispensed with because of a lot of threat from terrorists. So those steel cutleries used to have the mark of Air India or Indian Airlines. And then even today, you go to any railway station. Uh, many railway station, um, um, you know, are the various products of railways. You see the product of Indian Railway logo being embossed on that. So that is a property mark. So trademark denotes manufacturing quality of the goods which distinguishes one good from other good whereas property marks denotes the ownership on them okay this spoon this cutlery belongs to air india uh, this bench uh, in the platform uh, belongs to indian railways so uh, trademarks concern the goods uh, uh, themselves whereas the uh, property more concerned with the proprietor or the owner of that good. That is the difference. Next, please. Yeah. Fun what are the functions of great trademark? Uh, trademark uh, registration uh, gives an advantage and uh, it, you can easily identify the product and its origin with the trademark and that guarantees unchanged quality. Uh, you know that the Colgate toothpaste quality has not changed so many years. Uh, you know, that is the uh, quality of that product. And um, uh, trademark also advertises the product, just like Colgate toothpaste. Yeah? And it creates an image of the product. You know, we all have since um, uh, childhood that uh, what are the various products which have been introduced to us by our parents, you know, uh, in, in everyday life use. So those products are nothing but uh, part and parcel of uh, our life because of the uh, quality and goodwill which itself advertises that product to its users. Uh, it, it creates an image in our um, mind, uh, the, the value of that product. So, so one has to uh, uh, do that maintain the not only the quality of your products and services and it's very very important that you get a trademark registration for your products and uh, services and uh, next next please next slide yeah and uh, <clears throat> so uh, it, it recognizes the distinctiveness trademark uh, inherent trademark or acquired trademark uh, and inherent distinctiveness example uh, it means that mark or get up is distinct from itself. Everything else and no one else can justifiably claim the right to use. So, for example, uh, the, the trademark RIN, the RIN sabun, the RIN soap, washing soap. So, RIN is a created uh, inherently distinctive, it is. It is similarly, Zen, the Zen word. So, acquired distinctiveness is different, that is through use. So, for example, Ashika or Hawkins or Surf or Lux have acquired distinctness through the use by the users. Also, they are distinctive due to inherent quality of the why being invented words. So because it all invented words also very, very important in trademark and they have more uh, value for that. So very difficult to copy those invented words uh, when there's, uh, these invented words are used as trademarks. Next, please. So, um, I, I, um, I just pass on to the next, next one. Yeah. Here, my best example of invented word is Avon. Actually, it is A1. Instead of uh, the manufacturer saying that my base bicycle is A1, he said, my bicycle name is Avon. So Avon bicycle uh, name, trademark name emerged like that. So it's an inventive trademark. And also another example is a quality ice cream. 
so no quality spelling starts from q q u but it deliberately the name has been given k w instead of q u the beginning of that word so it 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 has its own identification it its own um, uh, you know presence in the market because of such inventiveness because uh, and uh, uh inventiveness you know normally it should be the very small name flex or a brew or a rin already told you it should appeal to the eye when it is done and also to the ear uh, the way you design your um, uh, logo and the way um, you know, when you utter that word it should be very easy even uh, illiterate guy can be uh, pronouncing that very in a simple manner uh, that is very very important so it should satisfy the requirements of registration of course of uh, all these invented trademarks uh, best thing is whenever you go to any trademark lawyer or a trademark agent everyone will say that you know inventive word is nothing like that uh, you know no one when copy and it it it, it never existed before Uh, and getting a trademark registration is very easy when you register uh, when you file an application an application is uh, published in a trademark uh, bulletin and then uh, you know people see that if that is already in the market then they may file an opposition uh, for against your registration so that so trademark publication happens uh, for that purpose only so when these kind of inventive words are published uh, you know no one will come and oppose because even it is unheard of so that is the strong protection uh, you'll be getting and then and uh, well one thing you should remember that while getting a trademark you should not register uh, the uh, national emblems or national names the names of gandhi nehru or shivaji uh, Uh, and uh, you know the uh, ashoka symbol of government of india uh, national flag these kind of uh, um, uh, item uh, or class marks are prohibited for registration because the all national symbols and national names cannot be registered you should be very very careful next please so when you start your business when you start manufacturing products or processes you get a patent registration for your products and product processes and you you get a name for your company msme you get that registered and uh, simply registering the name of the company and registering the name of the product on the patent or the trademark is not suffice you, you, you know nowadays nowadays the business model is uh, each and every small company small ms has their own website that is very very important so because um, the online trading has started now because of covid those who are not uh, indulge in the e-commerce have started selling uh, either uh, placing their products uh, in the already existing e-commerce sites like amazon flipkart and others um, uh, or they themselves popular Uh, uh you know products and they are selling their products from their own websites so having a website is very very important for that you need a domain name so domain name system uh, uh is protected by ip again and uh, uh it can get a trademark protection in case of infringement uh if suit can be filed any passing of action can also be taken somebody is illegally copying the website the uh, html url name U U url means uniform resource locator that is the URL, U url which locates your uh, uh, company name in the website uh, when you google it and uh, internet and uh, internet corporation for assigned names and numbers um, um, i, I can uh, registers these things uh, the domain names and uh, a non profit organization responsible for coordinating and maintenance procedures of uh, this registration of uh, domain names and internet ensuring that network is stable and secure and because of and copying of domain names 
no problem is happening. So what exactly the domain name? For example, IIFT is there. It's an Institute of Management and Research. So IIFT.com is there. So www.iift.com. It can be uh, the URL, URL normally the HTTP uh, slash um, www the world wide web dot IIFT dot com. So dot com is dot com or dot in dot org. All these are uh, um, you know top level domain names. It's called and IIFT dot com means this is the second level domain name and then host name is www IIFT dot com. So uh, this 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 is how uh, the um, uh, you know domain names are uh, generated, but sometimes somebody people uh, some people what do they illegally generate somebody else's domain name and start squatting on that. This is called domain name squatting and they demand that you know you give such an amount to us, then only such domain name is re released because once a name is domain name is registered, it cannot be re-registered again. So if your company name is illegally registered by somebody else, so that then that is a problem. Then you have to file an application before the do domain name resolution um, um, center that is the World Intellectual Property Organization uh, has created this and to help the people uh, to get justice in case any uh, 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 I know unscrupulous person illegally uh, registers domain names. Uh, others and start squatting on that, not allowing uh, releasing such names and then demanding a uh, heavy amount uh, um, uh, uh, as a, um, a price money uh, to allow the genuine manufacturer to use his own name in the, as a domain name. Next, please. So you should be very careful. Industrial design. This is the third aspect of industrial property rights and many manufacturers must be indulging in the uh, creation of uh, designs. Now the new cutting edge technologies have come. Now 3D printing has come. 3D printing has, uh, you know, started uh, uh, doing and uh, mind boggling, um, uh, you know, copying of these designs. And then artificial intelligence again indulge, use the machine learning, deep learning. Um, algorithms are used and creation of a new designs. Next, please. Design appeals to the eye. You know, when you go to the market, sometimes you may not go by product, the utility of the product. Uh, may, may not go by the brand name, uh, which is already popular in the market and uh, uh, which has a goodwill and reputation. Uh, but you may, uh, the design catches your attention. Sometimes you feel that, uh, that the B grade product in the market has a better design than A grade. Uh, quality product. Uh, so uh, sometimes you say, say, say that the A, a grade uh, quality product failed in uh, putting a good design on its, applying a good de design on its project. Look how that B grade thing, substantial stuff has come out with a uh, very good design. So this, uh, these things appeal us. That's why Design Protection Act is there. Uh, and it, pro uh, it protects the various features of design. It may be a shape. It may be configuration of a, that design, pattern of that design, ornamentation of that design, composition of lines and colors of that particular design. Sometimes form of that design. It may be two dimensional, two dimensional form or a three dimensional form or uh, the means of uh, processes. How this design has come into exit, uh, uh, you know, executed, produced through industrial process or by manual manual process or a mechanical process or a chemical process. How this design has been uh, uh, created, that is very, very important. So appeal to and judgment by eye is very, very important. Finished products appeal to our eye and judges, judged by our eye. So, uh, you know, uh, the, uh, then only uh, the value of design improves and uh, however uh, design does not include any mode or principle of construction. 
and anything that is in substance a mere, me, mere mechanical device uh, and so is a functional uh, non functional aspect is very very important uh, when it is a functional uh, so design uh, cannot be uh, pro provided any trademark or a property mark cannot be given design and literary artistic work uh, uh, cannot be given copyright uh, they can be uh, given copyright but they cannot be given industrial design protection next please yeah industrial design uh, so what is the uh, important for recognition of a design and by the design registry and it gets an intellectual property protection you all know that patents novelty inventive step and industrial application is important similarly for a design protection novelty and originality is important so uh, once it is in the market it cannot get it once it is in the public domain without industry your design registration it can't uh, get protection it should not have been published for the for public use it should not have been disclosed to the public disclosed to the public exhibited to the public and uh, it must be distinguishable from the known design or combination of known designs. Uh, it must not comprise or contain scandalous or obscene matter on the design. And uh, so design is an exclusive right, uh, similar to trademark, which is an exclusive right and uh, patent is an exclusive right. Here design exclusive right is given for 10 years. And uh, after five years, another extension is given. A total 15 years extension is given. And, and uh, no copyright in uh, design if uh, it is, uh, if design is registered. The, uh, industrial design has to be registered under the Industrial Design Act and no copyright can be given to that. I, be, uh, why? Because, uh, because Copyright Act says and, and this, um, this even design is also one of the artistic works, but uh, it is a handmade designs are uh, given um, uh, copyright protection, but not the industrial design, which have been uh, produced more than 50 times uh, so, uh, uh, by a machine. It can't get a copyright, so it has to be handmade designs only get a copyright. That's a, an important case, uh, uh, you know, I, I want to say. You are all aware about the Samsonite briefcases. So once what Samsonite has done, it, it, it created a briefcase and it was copies um, with a, um, uh, a brown and uh, blue color combination that was copied by VIP suitcase and marketed in the uh, shops and sold like anything. And Sam, what is the mistake of Samsonite? So Samsonite failed to um, get it registered under the Industrial Design Act. And um, they, um, they thought when VIP has copied it, it can get protection from copyright. But court said, no, you cannot get both uh, because you failed to get both. Reason is uh, it is already uh, published, available to the public in the market. So it lost its novelty. You can't get copyright because the designs are produced through the machine. Was more than 50 copies products are produced to a machine. Ma machine made product can't get a copyright in a design. Next, next slide, please. And another important aspect of intellectual property rights is geographical indications. Geographical indications means and you must be heard, have heard about the important geographical indication Basmati rice which is famous in India. So we want the GI protection for this. Pakistan is also fighting nowadays. And Alfonso mangoes, you know, Alfonso mangoes are products from Goa and Konkan, Maharashtra Pradesh, that areas. And Agra Peta has its own value. And, uh, and Goa Feni, it's an, its own value. Darjeeling tea, its own value. Kolapuri Chapel or Bikaner Bujia or Nagpur Oranges, Kanchipuram Sari or Banaras Silk or Mysore Silk, you know, it's all geographically indicated thing because the products used in this, it, ha it has been grown in those areas, cultured in those areas, and 
that, and this this and you know inextricably attach these products to those geographical areas um, they belong to that area that's why um, it is called geographical indication next please so in intellectual property protection uh, uh, has to be there because it's an indication that from geographical area it originates from a definite geographical territory or a locality it it can be an agriculture product like mango alfonso mango or a natural product or a manufactured goods uh, it can be um, manufactured good also uh, like uh, kolapuri chapal and uh, manufacturer should goods should be produced or processed or prepared in that particular ter territory like a kolapuri chapal or mysore sandal soap from mysore and it should have special quality in that reputation of being the specialty prepared by a particular group of manufacturers and association of manufacturers which has special characteristics associated with that a community or association of producers only manufacture this not others then this community of association of producers go and register under the geographical indication act there is a geographical indication registry this is registered there so what is the difference between other intellectual property rights and geographical indications is the patent there is one inventor or a, uh, one uh, more than one in inventors you know joint inventorship may be there but in trademark only one person has but is a collective mark it's a different one company is manufacturing different goods godrej godrej soap is also there godrej typewriter is also there godrej almara is there godrej fridge is also there so uh, but despite that they have their own recognition uh, uh, up there uh, but here uh, 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 and the design again uh, one individual one ownership one creator is there here multiple creators are there association of people or association of producers are there these people are uh, either growing these things in their uh, area alfonso mangoes you can't grow alfonso mangoes in kolkata or northeast and start saying that these are alfonso mangoes because the uh, the taste uh, uh, is associated with these mangoes because of the weather climatic conditions soil the way it is produced there so all this differs uh so similarly mysore silk comes from mysore silk banaras silk com comes from banaras silk it has its own local indications that is very very important so this associates not one single person produces this a group of people association of producers do thus so many startups and msmes are getting associated with these kind of geographical indications uh, marketing them producing them getting gi uh, recognition registration and all this this is very very important that this uh, can be uh, uh, these products can be pro promoted by registering under the geographical indications uh, of goods act in 1999 next please and another important intellectual property rights for msmes many msmes may be in manufacturing various chips which are normally technically called semiconductor integrated circuits or layout design so there is a act special act in in 2001 it is introduced semiconductor integrated circuits and layout design act so that governs that gives protection to these chips manufacturer so you find these chips in everywhere uh, the, the all electronic goods you take even small the goods to the bigger goods have the uh, the, 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 the it is like a heart for them heart and veins uh, they all function because of these layout designs and semiconductor ic circuits and all that next please so this 2000 act semiconductor integrator circuit layout design act provides protection of intellectual property to these chips and uh, integrator circuit layout designs semiconductors uh, uh and there is a registry uh which has jurisdiction all over india it's registered it is placed in delhi and uh, um, in a semiconductor integrated circuit means a product having transistors and circuitry elements uh 
uh, which makes an, an electronic device function, which is inseparable part of that um, uh, that uh, semiconductor material is inseparable part of that electronic code, which is an insulating material inside the semi semiconductor material, and it is designed to perform that electronic circuitry function of a particular electronic code. So layout design of a uh, this semiconductor uh, integrated design uh, is a layout of transistors and circuitry elements. Includes very lead wise. आप कभी को ओपन करके देखे होंगे आपके ट्रांसिस्टर और वायरलेस इक्विपमेंट वगैरह एनी इलेक्ट्रॉनिक स्मॉल इवन किचन रिलेटेड इक्विपमेंट आल्सो इट हैज वेरियस सर्क्यूट्स एंड डिजाइन लेआउट वाइस एक्सेट्रा दिस आर नथिंग बट सेमीकंडक्टर इंटीग्रेटेड सर्क्यूट्स नेक्स्ट प्लीज इट इज दिस इज नॉट पेटेंटेबल दिस हैज टू बी प्रोटेक्टेड अंडर दिस एक्ट ओनली so it, it it defines the rights of the registration this act and defines the matters of infringement if somebody copies this illegal chips are made and sold in the market and defines the procedures of uh, assignment transmission registration etc um, for the registered users and uh, in case of infringement there is an appellate body that is ipab and uh, uh, you know It, it imposes penalty in case of uh, infringement, and uh, somebody is falsely representing the chips and all that. Next slide, please. Trade secret. So we do not have a trade secret standalone law in India, but all trade secrets um, are protected under the contract law. So what exactly trade secret? Mainly trade secret or confidential information. it can be related to your computer software or algorithms or a chemical formula you are using uh, or um, in the manufacturing of your products or any process which is a, which you are patented uh, which are not patented uh, but you are secretly kept to you in your family itself like uh, the coca cola um, uh, chemical formula uh, is kept uh, so secret that no one knows uh, because it's a classified information and uh, um you know uh, it's a non disclosure agreements are signed with employees with heavy fines in case of any disclosure of this so for a lifetime of such agreements are the, the guy leaving cocola cola company to some other company he is not supposed to uh, reveal the secret of uh, that uh, trade secret of the taste the chemical formula of the, the coca cola uh it can be a formula it can be a practice business practice is a manufacturing process it may be a design it may be an instrument used it may be a pattern or compilation of data or information which is kept in office secretly that can that is also a trade secret because if such database of information is revealed to your competitor in the business Uh, you know, if I take for example, all your clients' addresses, telephone numbers, email IDs. If that is made available to your competitor, so he he will go and uh, contact them and give them uh, very very goody goody candies, and then uh, uh, all these uh, uh, clients will walk away to your competitor. So you will lose in the business. So protecting your compilation of information. Uh, trade secret through non disclosure agreement which are protected under the contract act is very very important next please so no ip law at present protection as i already told you as per the contract act uh, this um, uh, uh, next please uh, it stop the industrial espionage because reverse engineering also happens sometimes people uh, take the product and break open and try to learn how it is been made and um, you know uh, uh, that is very very important that a trade secret uh, of a company is protected uh, with uh, non disclosure uh, agreements and next comes the important of copyright so uh, a copyright subsists in literary works artistic works and musical works and dramatic works sound recording sound recording films and softwares uh, it's authors and creative people's right Uh, it's an expression uh, is is recognizes the uh, ownership of creative expression of these authors and creative people uh, when the revolution start in publishing of books 
once uh, Gutenberg introduced the printing machine, then the large scale printing of books started and circulation of books, distribution of books and sale of books started. So, so whenever these new technologies emerge, so copyright owner uh, ability to disseminate works increase. So there was a need for a copyright law to protect the copyright of publishers and printers in the 15th century. That's why uh, in 1710, UK, the United K Kingdom first time introduced a copyright law. Now new technologies are coming, uh, now new platforms are coming. Now earlier we used to go to the theater to watch the film. Nowadays Netflix is there sitting at home. You can watch, uh, you can watch on your large screen in your drawing room or your desktop, or laptop, or mobile telephone. So many platforms are available nowadays. Um, but wherever is there, there is a danger of copyright infri infringement that need to be protected. So even your literary work may be copied and scanned and made available on internet. So your books may be uh, converted into digital format, soft format like PDF copies and made available internet. And and uh, you know your music, your software may be copied. Your music may be copied. Your video films, your documentaries, your films can be copied. So now uh, all this can be protected under copyright, all these creative products under the copyright law because that is the expression of the author who express this creative work and it should be original. So just like a novelty, originality is there in design, novelty inventive step and industrial application is there in industry and for the patents. So originality is the man. means when you are creating an expression, uh, when you are writing a book, when you are taking a photo or you are uh, doing a painting, uh, you are making a film, you should not copy from others. It should be original expression. Next, please. So uh, it, um, uh, next, I just want to jump this. Uh, yeah, so copyright subsists in original works, literary works, dramatic works, musical works, artistic works, cinematograph films. And there are related rights are there because sound recordings and performing uh, performer rights and broadcasting rights. These are all originated from the original copyrights like literary, musical, artistic works and cinematic. Why? I give you an example. Uh, how sound recording film comes, when music recording comes. Um, first, a song is written. It is a literary work. Already copyright is there. And music is composed for that song. So it is a musical work, already copyright is there. So this literary and musical work on which copyright is there, uh, it's sung uh, uh, by a performer, a singer. Uh, with his performers, he is creating a performer, right? So when he's singing, it is recorded in the studio. The sound recording is created. Is there is a sound recording, master recordings, right? And then when it is broadcasting, it is a broadcast reproduction, right? So. All these are related rights to the original copyrighted works. Next, please. So what copyright exclusions are there? There is no copyright in, in the names because names are protected by trademark. Short word combinations again protected by trademark, not by copyright. There is no copyright in the slogan, short phrases. Any methods of operation or plots or concepts or factual information or news, news of the day. So suddenly news comes whether um, Biden has uh, won the majority 270. So uh, no channel can say that I got the information first from the election center. So it my copyright on this news. No, there is no copyright on the news or miscellaneous facts uh, or press related information. Yeah, that is what the international law says. Next, please. So when uh, uh, um, uh, any packaging, uh, any packaging is an artistic work uh, of a good, any good, where there's a rinse or uh, PS soap is there, Colgate box, packaging box is there. All this packaging material not only protected the names, and colors packaging protected by a uh, protected by the trademark and it is called artistic work because it has been created uh, uh, creation of a mind is an expression of mind it's a copyrightable subject matter 
but what happens uh, if the original colgate is has a trademark and duplicate colgate guy will go to copyright office will get a artistic work registration to stop that whoever files artistic work application should get a trademark 60 certificate from trademark office saying that there is no uh, identical or similar or deceptively similar work uh, to such artistic work already re registered there. So that certificate comes, then there is a possibility that only one person, the person who got a trademark only can get registered the trademark as a word for artistic work. No other person can register that. So this foolproof mechanism has been made under the copyright law uh, that there should not be any fight between uh, uh, two people uh, having two different intellectual property rights production for a similar product, identical product. Next, please. So uh, and then design copyright interface already told you the how um, uh, design registration is must for a design. It can't get a copyright giving the example of Samsonite suitcase and uh, the um, uh, 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 other product. Uh, yeah, next please. Uh, originality is very, very important. Uh, originality, what is originality? That you no, know, when you write something, when you create a work, you put some hard work, that is the labor theory uh, was attached to that. It's called sweat of bro theory, labor theory. And uh, later uh, UK course uh, attached the co concept of skill judgment, because when writing a book or writing an article, or creating a painting or a drawing a picture. Uh, there is a skill and judgment and hard work also labor. So that is the um, example of originality. Uh, that is the sign of originality. That's what uh, uh, courts recognize when uh, in um, uh, piracy of copyright took place. Next, please. So later in the Supreme Court of the uh, America, United States, in fierce publication ruler telephone, they said, no, no, it is very low level of uh, um, originality test introduced by the British courts. That is labor theory, skill judgment. So whenever uh, when you see the uh, product, because it was deciding whether yellow pages has a copyright or not, because yellow pages, it is about a method of compilation and computation of uh, uh, various uh, telephone numbers and addresses. Uh, and uh, uh, and uh, uh, it should have a copyright protection. That was the argument. Uh, the opponent uh, who copied the similar thing is said that there is no originality in that. And court said, yes, there should be a minimum degree of uh, creativity. So minimum cre degree of creativity is important. It's not a simply the labor or a sweat, etc. Uh, but in the Canadian Supreme Court talked this differently. They said there should be a modicum of creativity, not the minimum degree of creativity. There is a skill judgment of a creator. It should in a, in a methodical form that has been put. That should be the test for the originality. Even Indian Supreme Court in Eastern Book um, the Company case recognized that there should be modicum of uh, creativity. Um, that is the test of uh, originality and one should not copy from others. That is important. Its expression should be original. Yeah, next please. So copyright should be fixed in any form, any material form in any medium. That is very, very important. If a dramatic work is there, uh, it, it can be a recitation, choreographical work, scenic arrangement or acting. This has to be fixed in writing clearly. Yeah, next please. So what are literary works? Examples are books, pamphlets, poems, articles, letters. Nowadays, emails are sent instead of letters and, and, and in the various blogs it is written, uh, uh, published, uh, articles are published in various web, web blogs. And so copyright subsists in that. Many tables or compilations or has a originality then a copyright subsists in this. In software, I already told you, in India, patent cannot be granted to software. Uh, only software is recognized as a literary work. 
So um, it is uh, a copyrightable per, uh, product uh, in India. Next, please. Dramatic work, I already told you any recitation, choreographic work, uh, dumb show, uh, scening, uh, scenic uh, arrangement, scene by scene, screenplay, uh, and the dialogue of an acting, these are all uh, dramatic works. Next. And musical works is any tune of music. Composition is a musical work. Uh, but if a tune or composition is in a, given in a graphical note, notation, uh, that is also a musical work. But if a tune or a composition is a, written down in a word, language, that's not a musical work, but that becomes then um, uh, it's, it's a literary work. Next. So artistic work already gave example of FMCG product packaging of various goods. And apart from that, any photographs or a painting or a sculpture or a drawing or a sketch, a diagram, a cartoon, are all artistic works protected under the copyright. Even maps and bar diagram, pie diagram, and chart, various chart diagrams, and you know, nowadays visualization of data. Uh, is very, very important while analyzing any information. So all on these copyright subsist and architectural plan of a building. You take your own IIFT, Indian Institute of Foreign Trade, such a huge building complex. So the architectural design also has copyright protection and any engraving is there, design etching is made on a cloth or a, on a wood or any plastic material or a stone or a terracotta pottery. So copyright subsists in this as an artistic work. Next, please. Next slide. Yeah, so packaging already mentioned. Even the uh, fashion designers, diagram sketches also has copyright. And any packaging of a good uh, is also an artistic work. And film is an artistic work, but what happens from a black and white film is converted into color. So it is not a original film which has been converted into color because original film is in the black and white only. So you can't get a separate copyright for a color film. So if film has to be made originally in a color, then only you will get a copyright for that color film. Next, please. So copyright, so I've been talking about copyright, copyright. So what exactly copyright? Already know the copyright subsist in literary, artistic, dramatic works uh, and musical works, sound recordings and cinematograph films. But when you create one work, it get, you get a bundle of right. So let us say you write a book on the, on the how MSM business is flourishing in India. You write a book. So the moment you write a book, you get a copyright because copyright is automatic. You need not go and register it. So it, registration is voluntary. You want more protection. OK, sir, give me registration. You get a certificate. But it doesn't mean that you register a certificate, then only you will get a copyright. But uh, it's always better if you register your works. And now online registration is there. Online payment of fees is there. You can go to Copyright Office website and do that. But when you say that you have a copyright on a book, so what rights you have, what bundle of rights you have? You have a right to publication, you have a right to reproduction, you have a right to distribution, you have a right to public performance of that work, communication to the public. That's a documentary may be made or a film may be made. For that also you'll get um, uh, permission, your permission need to be taken from you. Somebody want to translate your book into Hindi or Punjabi or Chinese or German or French um, or Tamil. So your each and every language translation, you, your permission is needed. Separate permission and separate royalties you will get. So all these activities you get royalties by publication, distribution, public performance, sale of these goods. And or once it is published, it, it is rented out. So rental is happening, commercial rental is happening. So all these things you get collect royalties. 
So what happens in the case of translation when your book written in English translated into Hindi? Similarly, the Hindi author will get all this right publication, right reproduction, right distribution, circulation, right communication to the public, right and all that. So uh, that is very, very important. That is the significance of copyright. It gives a bundle of exclusives to the author, the creator, the person has and uh, assignment is there. What is an assignment right? Author can transfer all these rights to other person and, and then rights are getting transferred. Uh, next, please. Next slide. So another bundle of rights also you get moral rights in India. We recognize two important rights to the authors. One, uh, one once you write a book, the name of the title. Like Atma Gandhi wrote my experiment with the truth. Premchand wrote Godan. So author's name is associated with the uh, title of the book. That is the very book itself. So that is right to paternity, right to authorship, right to attribution of authorship is very, very important. This inalienable right, this right cannot be transferred like economic right you transferred uh, and this guy right cannot be transferred. And uh, another right of moral right is right to integrity. That is right to respect. Once you write a book, uh, you know, you, are, uh, you, you can claim uh, uh, damages or restrain somebody if they are distorting your book, you are mutilating your chapter or modifying in the chapter without permission. So that can never be done. So these are all inalienable, non transferable rights, moral rights. Next, please. Next slide. Yeah. So what is the term of copyright. So all economic rights have a term of copyright and moral rights uh, perpetual copyrights. So after Banda Marjani Kebab be and once product is in the public domain, uh, still moral right continues. Now Mahatma Gandhi passed away in 60, 60 years has happened for all his literary books biography. So still moral rights are applicable, whereas one since it is in public domain, Mahatma Gandhi is all literary works. Our Rabindranath Tagore's literary works are in public domain because their life has passed life plus 60 years. 60 years also passed. So anyone can take those books and publish it. So it's not piracy or infringement. So similarly, musical works of life plus 60 years, artistic works and including photographs of life plus 60 years. Whereas films, the pictures, uh, cinematograph films at 60 years, the producer is author for this. And sound record is a music company is the author 60 years posthumous works. If the author has that his son found out of this hand script, manuscript of father's writing, he will go and publish those books in his memory of father. Since his father already passed away, published posthumously, he will get only 60 years. Right. Similarly, government works, international organizations works, public sector uh, organizations works all get 60 years term of copyright, exclusive term of copyrights. Next, please. Next slide. Hello. Yeah. Um, performer rights. This is very, very important. Who is a performer, actor, singer, musician? It can be a dancer, a juggler, photographer, magician, even a snake charmer in India uh, is a uh, performer and the person who is giving a lecture. Now at present I'm giving my lecture for the past uh, um, one and a half hour. So my this is a performance. Uh, so I'm also a performer. Performers have certain rights given under the copyright. That's I'm going to explain in the next slide. Next please. Yeah, uh, uh, performer have a 60 years right and uh, section 38. It recognizes this right earlier. Devan and uh, wanted these rights, uh, but court said there was no separate rights uh, before 1994. This right was introduced in India in 1994 in the Copyright Act. It gives a right to reproduction of their um, uh, performances. No one can 
uh, do the vis um, video recording or audio recording without their permission when they are performing. So uh, I have given permission to IFT, they can record it. If I said uh, you can't record my lecture, they can't record it. So uh, it is a performer's right. And communication to the public. So uh, this is being public communicated to the public uh, through by a broadcast. That is the right of pop performer. He has to give that permission. Mm -hmm. uh, any uh, performance of an, a dancer, artist, a singer, you just can't take it and then put it in Doordarshan or Sony TV without their permission. And then you can't record them and start selling them in the market without their permission. Or you can't start giving him for the commercial renter uh, these works. And uh, they have no right uh, if a consent is given to the cinematograph films. But if their works are included in the film, uh, film and then uh, with their consent, uh, they have no right in that. But uh, in amendment to the copyright, we have said that uh, while it is shown in the theaters, film theaters, they have no right. But if it is separately shown uh, that moving picture is that slides is used uh, in other platforms, uh, so they have rights. So some royalties have to be given to them. That's what we call the right to receive royalties. Next, please. So similarly, sound recording, the music companies, once they record, record the music yeah, and then release it, earlier they used to release in the vinyl recording, then cassettes, then DVDs, and then now all digital mediums, various MP3 we have and other mediums have changed. So whatever medium, they have uh, those rights of uh, recording, reproduction, distribution, uh, communication to the public, public performance, all these rights music companies have those on their recording. Similarly, these songs cannot be rented out without their permission. Next, please. And copies, copied and sold. This is what I already said. Next, please. Next. Yeah. So how these rights are managed? Previous slide, please. Previous. Just go back once. Yeah, so uh, all these um, music companies, authors, singers, uh, how they manage, right? Individually, they don't go to all uh, commercial exploity or a shop to take a license from them. So all singers have formed a society called Indian Singer Rights Association. Uh, license has to be taken by FM radio uh, from them for telecasting of songs. And a couple of years back, Mumbai Indians uh, did not take permission from them, license from them playing songs uh, while matches where IPL matches are happening in the uh, Bombay Stadium. So court gave an injunction to them to stop playing songs unless you take a license and pay royalties. So similarly, Indian Performing Rights Society is a society for uh, songwriters of these film songs and also com com music composers of these film songs. They come together, form a society and they give it license whenever the songs are exploited. Even uh, these um, the songs and music tunes you are playing in your mobile callback ringtone or ringtone, uh, the telephone operator, uh, the uh, mobile service operator pays royalties to them. And all songs are viewed on YouTube. YouTube has an uh, understanding with the right owners. So what YouTube does, it puts advertisement between all videos an ad keeps coming and then again and again, whether you like or don't like. And uh, at that advertisement amount is collected and shared with the uh, right owners because uh, many things, many times these are all uh, uploaded on YouTube without permission. Uh, if uh, no permission is taken, YouTube has to take down that. Uh, that is the uh, thumb rule of copyright law. And then uh, music companies have formed a society called Indian um, um, Phonographic Performance Limited. Uh, again, they give licenses to the uh, uh, commercial places where songs are played. And then uh, another uh, company called um, the Copyright Society called Indian Reprographic Rights Organization, where uh, authors of books and publishers of books are members. Any photocopying, unauthorized photocopying happening in various photocopying machines outside. They give license. Uh, they give a license to them to photocopy such things and collect royalties. And then once the royalties are collected for um, through license, they distribute this amount 
uh, to each and every member of its society. That's the reason why uh, this um, management of rights happen. Next, please. So how rights are transmitted? So first owner of copyright is always the author who writes the copyright. What happens? Uh, the author assigns his works to publisher for publication. And if he is, uh, um, now for example, one employee is working in MSME. So he, he, he MSME uh, owner asks him to prepare a report. So copyright goes to the employee or employer MSME. So here, because employee is getting a salary, is supposed to do that job under contract of service. So whatever copyright is creating, that goes to the employer, not to the employee. And then uh, copy members, various members transfer assign the rights to copyright society. Sometimes the copyrights, uh, once the author is died, uh, if he has not transferred the rights to others, uh, let's say the publisher or any other person, this can be bequested at uh, with the testament. Will this can be uh, will uh, in a document of will? This can be inherited by the legal heirs. Yeah. Next, please. So assignment, you can uh, do assignment of rights to territorial wise, one territory, North India, South India, East, West, or Europe, America, or Africa, Southeast Asian countries separately, your copyrighted products uh, separately. And then if you, uh, uh, you, you can, um, I know, uh, assign the rights wholly, or you can assign the rights partially only. Uh, and then comes the question, at what what period because you have a life of author plus 60 years how much period you are giving transferring the rights them that can be also be created what happens sometimes you forget to write uh, the year so at least uh, uh, you know uh, you know it is uh, given for five years deemed deemed to be given for five years that's that's what it and if uh, assignment lapses uh, so if uh, uh, um, does not exercise the rights within the one year and then uh, rights will go back to the uh, original author. And then if you don't mention the area or territory in your uh, agreement, it is uh, deemed to be uh, given for entire India. That's what uh, no copyright assignment is allowed in a future medium or a technology. So any technology available which is being used in that medium also uh, only the rights are given. Uh, so the assignment or a license has to be in a writing signed by the uh, assigner or licensor. And um, in case of uh, assign, uh, assignment, ownership is retained by uh, the, the, uh, um, uh, the assignee. And uh, in case of licensing, the licensor retains the ownership. That is the difference. So if, uh, not always all these licenses happen through voluntary licenses, mutually agreed terms, this happens. But sometimes if uh, voluntary license is not happening, a uh, compulsory license can be granted for the person. If it is a voluntary license is denied, compulsory license is given for the publication of books and uh, translation of books and uh, broadcasting and uh, publication of, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, works where, whose uh, uh, authors are not available, uh, uh, public publication publishers are not available because these products have become orphans uh, and, and copyright board can use such license to publish and with the fee fixed uh, deposited in the copyright board. That is the IPAB nowadays, Intellectual Property Appellate Board. And uh, statutory licensing, the new tool introduced uh, that uh, the, the board itself fixes the rate in advance uh, for the music to be used by the broadcasting organizations. Next, please. So uh, uh, ownership, authorship. So I said already about this explain employer is the owner, not the employee when they uh, it is created. But sometimes MSME, um, uh, uh, may give this work to outsider. So it may be commissioning the work. So what happens then, then when you are commissioning the work, you have to get the works transferred, copyright transferred to your MSME through a 
contract. Otherwise, that, that the person, the expert you have engaged, uh, he will take amount from not only from your company and give you the product. He will make a retain a copy of that and give it to some other company, your competitor, and get money from that also. So these things have all happened in the publishing industry. So I have to tell them. So when you are engaging expert, get the copyright transfer. Otherwise, uh, to you know, you know, no pun in uh, crying later and then going to the court and filing a case when you have not got the rights uh, in that product. Next, please. So a lot of infringement is happening uh, now. Internet is a big problem. And uh, books are also uh, copied, textbooks also copied, uh, illegal download of MP3 and uh, uh, set as, as, you know, the IPL matches which are illegally taken, that links are given on the various illegal websites and um, various movie websites, pirated movie websites have been provided, illegal copying the mo movies and then illegal pirated DVDs are sold in the market. So these are all the big threats to the copyright creative industries. Next, please. Uh, and uh, what are exceptions and what extent it can be copied? So copying can be done for a news and current affairs for the television and print media. Uh, that is not infringement of copyright. And then libraries can use this educational purposes, writing examination, teaching in the classrooms. Now I am instructing you instructional purposes it is also education so anything i have shown you is not an infringement of copyright and then converting format for the visually impaired people to the braille language or any other uh, you know software format is also not infringement of copyright and for using these copyrighted works for judicial proceedings in the courts by both lawyers and judges uh, publishing in the official gadget by the government, um, various acts, uh, and also the using by the parliament and state legislative assemblies, various copying of works for the purpose of legislative business is also not an infringement of work. And uh, educational purposes, wide research, um, research purposes, exceptions have been given. Library and archives also exceptions have been given. And then for this government ceremonies like Republic Day, Independence Day, any use of uh, any other government ceremony, use of uh, music, uh, no need to take permission, exception is given. Similarly, for the marriage purposes, uh, any marriage uses a music, it's not uh, payable. Uh, and that is very, very important, even for educational purposes. Uh, but there should not be any paid um, uh, auditorium. So payment and fee should not be uh, uh, you know, charged. In that extent, exceptions have been given. Next, please. Thank you. Thank you very much. If you have any questions, you can ask. Hello. Okay, okay. Uh, check kar hai. Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, somebody asked Mr. Madhusudan Kumra. Uh, can we? Uh, Ex manufacture and export automobile parts of Bajaj, Hero, and other companies. No, it's infringement of uh, intellectual property rights. Um, the, the trademark uh, infringement and patent infringement happen. You have to take a license from them. Then only you have to do. Otherwise, you know, uh, yeah, the punishment is very strict. You know, intellectual property rights. Uh, you know, uh, sometimes uh, the um, uh, lakhs and crores of fine is imposed and also imprisonment is also there. So um, don't do that uh, uh, mistake, uh, Kurmaji. 
uh, if you want to do that business in MSME, take license, proper license, and then manufacture and export. Uh, that is the best thing. Uh, this is what the question I see. Yeah, thank you very much. Thanks a lot. I would like to thank uh, Professor Tamanna Chaudhary and uh, her colleagues and her entire team helping me to facilitate this talk. If any other question is there, they can. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Namaskar, Jai Hind.